Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video we're going to be taking a look at the three weapons that were added as part of the KO Perico Heist DLC in GTA Online. So I've been meaning to make this video for a long while, but uh, because of the conditions in order to collect one of the three weapons was proving particularly unreliable, it took me this long to obtain it. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at what the weapons actually are. Here we have the military rifle, which is something that looks a lot like the Steyr Org. The combat shotgun, which is clearly based off of the Franchi Spass 12. And the K.O. Perico pistol, which is probably based off of the golden gun from James Bond. Let's start off with the military rifle. This is by far the easiest weapon to obtain out of the three, with the only requirement to obtain being that the player has a spare $400,000 lying around, plus the extra cash to buy all the upgrades and accessories. The military rifle is about on par with the contemporaries. There's no ability to upgrade any of the weapons in this DLC to Mark II, so they immediately lose out on some of the special ammo types that you can take advantage of on the other weapons in the same class. The military rifle has a slightly higher damage per hit on the chest, but has a slightly slower rate of fire than the likes of the advanced rifle. Overall, it seems pretty balanced and not really worth buying if you already own some of the other assault rifles. Next up, let's take a look at the combat shotgun. To obtain this weapon, you have to play the heist finale of the KO Perico and look for the weapon just lying around the compound. There's a few locations that the shotgun can be, and once you find it, just pick it up and now you own the weapon until the end of the heist, and then it gets taken off of you, so now you have to buy it from ammunition for $300,000. What, you thought you'd be given the weapon for free? What are you, stupid? Anyways, the combat shotgun, like the military rifle, is about as balanced as all the other shotguns in the game. Average damage with average rate of fire. In real life, the shotgun can fire pump action or semi, but in the game it fires semi. The shotgun's limited capacity makes it rather inferior to the automatic shotgun, so if you want a dependable shotgun to use, I'd just stick with the automatic shotgun. Or the Mark II shotgun if you want something that actually kills in one hit. Finally, let's take a look at the K.O. Perico pistol. This thing, depending on how lucky you are, can be either really easy or hard as balls to obtain. So to get this pistol, you have to wait around in free mode to find a blue dot on the map. If you go to it, you'll see a guard lying on the ground, which you can search him to take a key out of his butt. No butt! Which lets you open a drawer on the main desk in the office of the K.O. Perico compound. Wow, talk about cryptic. Unfortunately for me, even with myself and a search party of three friends in separate servers searching left, right and centre for this random event to spawn, just so that I can get one key, it took ages for one to finally show up. If it wasn't for this absolute legend, I wouldn't have the key. At the time, I wasn't even playing GTA, I was doing stuff around the house in real life. That was until he messaged me on Discord, told me that he found a random key event, I had to go onto GTA log into online, join his session, and then go to his position while in the meantime he had to defend the key making sure that no one stole it so that I could finally get the goddamn key! My god! Anyways, with the key you open up this desk drawer and BAM! You now own the weapon. And you don't have to buy an ammunition! Thank Christ. Anyways, is the K.O. Perico pistol worth it after all this effort and wasted time looking for the key? Well, that could be down to almost half. Is it, L? It's basically a more fancy version of the Marksman pistol. Enough said. I'll just use my revolver, thanks. So, that's the three weapons. What do you think? Do you already have them? How easy was it for you guys to find the key? Or are you still looking for it? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this short video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, blah blah blah, all that other stuff. See you around, folks.